Poll question. What are we going to start with, Seton? We could start with a better quarterback signing this weekend. Mm. We have the Steelers uh, possibly getting it's agreed upon. I don't know if he's officially, officially signed. Russell Wilson, okay. massive. Right. Uh, the Bucks signed Baker Mayfield in a move that seems to make a ton of sense for everybody. Um, hey, the Jaguars picked up Mac Jones for a bucket of golf balls. That's pretty nice. That's as close as you get to being released. I think it was a sixth-round draft pick. Yeah. And check, is Mac Jones from Jacksonville? A sixth-round draft pick is much more worth much more than a bucket of golf balls, too. I apologize close, to close, six-rounders. Close. Yes, Paulie. Mac Jones was born in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, there you go. Going home. Yeah, home field advantage. Prodigal son. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we could throw in there... Uh, the uh, Bills signing uh, Mitchell Truth Bisky. Uh, okay. But I don't know if he's How about we win. just do the first two? That's, Russell Russell Wilson and Baker Mayfield. You want to throw Mac in there too? Okay. No. I mean, it, that's a high-end backup. So It's a good, it's a good backup quarterback yes. to have. He's not threatening. He's not going to take anybody's job, but he's a competent young fella that you can bring along. Yeah, I, I think so. As long as he's good in the quarterback room, that's the key because – you know, that was the big report. He wasn't good in the quarterback room. And uh, I think Bailey Zappi, who is now the quarterback, well, at least right now, for the uh, Patriots, he liked the, uh, I guess, tweet that said that, that uh, Mac Jones was going to Jacksonville. Bailey Zappi liked that. Uh, I, if I'm Bailey Zappi, I don't get too comfortable as the starter with the Patriots. But for right now, he's your starting quarterback with the Patriots. They basically, you know, Gerard Mayo, the Patriots' new head coach, said, how do I get rid of any remnants of Bill Belichick's team? Um, I think he did a pretty good job so far. But now you got to go out and get a little star power there. Also, Russell Wilson going to the Steelers. I talked about this late last week where I thought that was the place where he could go and start and he would play for a year under Mike Tomlin where you're guaranteed the team is going to have a winning record. You do have some skilled position players, uh, you know, Potentially a couple of knuckleheads there, but you know you do have a talented team, and you got a good defense there. You're in a tough division, and I think Russ is a big upgrade there. I don't think he was going to Pittsburgh unless they guaranteed that he would be the starter. And to play under Mike Tomlin, you know you're going to be nine and eight. You start the season, you know you're going to be nine and eight with Mike Tomlin. It just happens. He's he guarantees a winning record. Now can Russ give you? Two wins, maybe three wins, because you're in a very tough division. And yes, the Steelers do play the Denver Broncos this upcoming season. Uh, so that's the poll question we'll start out with. Albert Breer will uh, fill in some of the uh, details here with these contracts, situations. And if you're Russ, you're a bargain. Didn't cost Pittsburgh money. You know, $1.2 million, no draft picks here. That's a great, great signing. And a, and a major upgrade there. And if I look at his numbers last year with Denver, and I look at the starting quarterbacks, the two previous seasons in Pittsburgh, their touchdown pass totals, Russ had a better year last year than the Pittsburgh quarterbacks did the two previous years combined. It's a major upgrade. All, all they're asking you to do is score 21 points. That's it. I think if you check in the losses that Pittsburgh had, maybe in five or six of them, they scored 13 points or less. You score 21 with that defense, you're going to probably win a couple more games there. Now you're going to be competing for a divisional title, and this is where Russ, you know, Russ, it's, it's almost like that Baker Mayfield situation, uh, kind of a make or break, but Baker is a lot younger. I think he's uh, five or six years younger. This is Russ's last go round. You got to play well, and then maybe you get a team that will give you a two or three year deal. Or maybe he stays in Pittsburgh. I was told don't be surprised if Pittsburgh still drafts a quarterback. At where or what point in the draft, I don't know that. This person didn't know that. But the fact that Russ was visiting the Giants, the Raiders were interested. And I think there was a lot of talk when Russ was released, like, oh, nobody's going to pick him up. And I'm thinking, well, why would you say nobody's going to pick him up? He's free. I get, a, I get a free quarterback, maybe a Hall of Fame quarterback in waiting at age 35 with a chip on his shoulder, and it's basically a tryout. I'm thinking, you can't lose here. And Mike Tomlin, you know, he's going to tell Russ, hey, you're not cooking. You know, we're all in the kitchen together here, Russ. Because you know, there may be days where you're just getting groceries for us. There may be days when we ask you to win a game for us. 
but you do have a quarterback who's been in that situation before. You get a defense. You get a run-first team. And uh, he had that in Seattle. And we uh, know how that went. Yes, Seaton. I wonder how many more years Russell Wilson wants to play. Well, I'm not, I, I know how many he probably wants to play, yeah. but he's well past his prime yeah. at 35. Yes. He's hitting that window of this contract, maybe one more. But that's it's going to be a series of one- to two-year deals from now on. It's not going to be anything more than that. Probably so. Probably so. But I think as a starter, this will determine if he's a starter another year. It's a big this is a big year for him. If he gets benched and you know they have you know Kenny comes back in there and he's the starter, then Russ has probably got a life of Mitchell Trubisky where you're gonna be a backup quarterback. Or you're gonna be the seasoned veteran there with a young quarterback. But I thought this was a major upgrade. I thought that it was a no lose situation there. That franchise, that coach, that defense. I get it. And you got some receivers there. You got a good tight end. You got a couple of good running backs there. And you got that defense there. That's a pretty good formula there and can be as balanced as any team in that division. And keep in mind, you know, you look at the quarterbacks in that division. Does anybody, any division have quarterbacks that talented top to bottom? And, uh, you know, the AFC North, that'll be tough sledding for everybody. But I'm looking at the DraftKings odds right now. And, uh, The favorites to win the AFC North, the Ravens, then it's the Bengals, and then uh, the Browns. Steelers are a distant fourth right now. So I got the Ravens at plus 110. I've got the Steelers at plus 1,000, this according to uh, DraftKings. Yes, Paulie? The Steelers last year, like you said, they were third to last in the league. From the quarterback position, they had 13 touchdown passes. Only the Panthers and the Jets were worst. If you combine Kenny Pickett's salary and Russell Wilson's salary for the 2024 season— They'll be spending $3 million on the quarterback position. And it's you can keep Kenny because you're, you got him under contract. And that's good for him to maybe learn with Russell Wilson. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with Mason Rudolph. But, uh, you know, they, they, have, they have an upgrade there. And they did it and it didn't cost him much. Yes, Marvin? I'm looking at the Steelers' opponents for 2024. The Steelers at the Denver Broncos this season. Yeah. Which we... Time will tell. We don't know yet. The schedule hasn't come out yet, but what a grudge match. Tribute video. Okay. Do the Broncos do a tribute video to Russell Wilson when he comes back? It'd be short. All right. Todd, would you have a tribute video to Russ with your Broncos? Not only will they not have a tribute video, I'm curious to see how badly he is booed when he comes running out onto the field. Why would they boo him? Because he was just part of a disastrous last couple of years, even though he improved his second year of the two years. I'm, I think he's going to be, uh, they're going to give it to him a little bit. Okay. But if you said that Russ will give you the same numbers in Pittsburgh that he did in Denver, I think Pittsburgh would take that. I think they'd sign up for that. This is what I was told by a source yesterday that, you know, part of the knock on Russ is, and there's a lot of, you know, knocks on Russ, uh, that he takes too many sacks. That a lot of times it's not the offensive line's problem, it's Russ's problem. You got to make sure that you're not taking those sacks and you're not committing turnovers with Mike Tomlin. If he does that, then I think that you're going to have a major upgrade. But Russ is part of the problem with these sacks. Now he's got to be part of this uh, solution there. Uh, So, Seton, we're going to go with that question. Uh, Better signing, Baker Mayfield, Tampa, Russell Wilson, Pittsburgh. Yes. Okay. Well, let's go around the room, and I'll ask you guys. Todd, Baker Mayfield returning to Tampa. And and we've talked about – a, a team-friendly deal. I think that's what Baker Mayfield gave Tampa and vice versa. Like it's a team-friendly deal. He's going to make $50 million guaranteed, but he didn't price himself out of the market. And a lot of these quarterbacks do, or their agents do. And I think there's a sweet spot that for some of these quarterbacks where you go, look, I'm not Mahomes. You know, I'm not Josh Allen. I got to find that sweet spot. And then maybe I can stay with this team. And that, I think, what happened with Baker Mayfield. I think it's a really, really smart deal for both of them. All right, Todd, Baker Mayfield, Tampa, or Russell Wilson, Jr., the third in Pittsburgh? I think there's far fewer question marks by what we saw with Baker than the, what we may or may not get with Russell Wilson in Pittsburgh. So I got to go Baker, staying with the Bucks. All right, Seton O'Connor. Yeah, I'm going to go with Baker. It seems like a deal that makes sense to everybody, both sides. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of like... It, it appears that it was like, why are we going to make this more complicated than we need 
than we need it to be. Like, Baker, is this money good for you? Because this works for us and we can build a better team. Right? Great. All right, everybody, we're good. Let's go. Move on. And you got Mike Evans. You, you're you able Absolutely. to keep Mike Evans as well. All right, uh, Marvin? I'm going to go Baker in Tampa. Better contract, easier uh, division. Mm. So I'm going to go with Baker. Okay, Paulie? I'll go with the Steelers because I think there's more upside. The Steelers were close last year. And that division is really tough, but they they improved by doing nothing, by spending nothing, by giving up no draft capital. Yeah, I'm going to go Pittsburgh with the potential upside to it, that if you know you're going to get at least nine wins, because it happens every year with Mike, then can Russ add two more and you get to 11 wins? Well, now you're competing for maybe a home field advantage. Now, and with that roster, like which one is more threatening come playoff time? You know, Tampa's good. Uh, Pittsburgh could be great. Uh, the really, you know, the big question will be how Russ adapts to that offense. You know, you got to, you know, they got rid of uh, Canada, their offensive coordinator that everybody said, you know, he's the reason why we, we struggle. They still struggled uh, even without him. And I think if you get 21 points a game with that defense, you can pencil in at, le- at least 11 wins. Yes, Marvin. Do you think the Steelers can make a real run at best in the AFC? Like at best, do you think they can make a real run? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. But let's keep in mind Deshaun Watson got injured with the Browns. Joe Burrow got injured uh, and Baltimore ran away with the the division. You had help last year. Can you get help again this year? Yes, Todd. So our DraftKings odds from earlier, that was after Russell Wilson was announced to go to Pittsburgh. I believe so. Which has them at distant fourth, and we already have them at maybe winning 10, 11 games, and they could, could be last place in their own division. I asked the uh, intern, Ray, to see if he could uh, find out if DraftKings gave us those odds after Russell Wilson signed. He's working on that. Some of my best people in the back are working on that. 